Chemistry lecture number 74, gas stoichiometry shortcuts. The factor label method is the standard method of solving gas stoichiometry problems. Some students have difficulty using the factor label method, so I came up with some formulas that can be used to convert volume to mass, mass to volume, and volume to volume. These formulas can only be used at standard temperature and pressure. Now formulas are easier to use, but you need to memorize the formulas and learn how to use them. Um, so you do have to put forth the effort to memorize three formulas that I'm going to present uh, in this video. So first off, for a volume to mass conversion, uh, we can use the following formula. UG equals KL CUMU divided by 22.4 liters CK. So UG is grams of unknown. KL is liters of unknown, CU is the coefficient of the unknown, MU is the molar mass of the unknown, and CK is the coefficient of the known. So let's try a problem. Uh, in the above reaction, nitrogen reacts with hydrogen to produce ammonia. If 15 liters of H2 reacts completely with nitrogen at a temperature of 273 Kelvin and a pressure of 760 torr, uh, what mass of NH3 will be made? <coughs> <clears throat> Excuse me, so 273 Kelvin and 760 Tor, that's standard temperature and pressure. So let's figure out what the uh, known and the unknown is. 15 liters of H2, so they're telling you how much H2 you have. You have 15 liters, so this is the known. Uh, let's see, and then what mass of NH3 will be made? So they're asking for the grams of NH3. That's the unknown. So question mark, grams, unknown. All right, so we've identified the known and the unknown. All right, so we're going to redraw this on the next page. And we'll repeat it. Okay, so we've identified the known and the unknown here and here. H2 is the known. Uh, the volume of the known is 15 liters, so KL, liters of known, is 15. Uh, the coefficient in front of the known is 3. So here's the known, see that coefficient 3? So the coefficient of the known is 3, so CK equals 3. And then the unknown is NH3. Uh, the mass of one mole of NH3 is 17 grams, so MU is 17 grams. And then the coefficient in front of NH3 is 2, right there. So Cu equals 2. So let's sort of summarize all this. So the overview and setup for solving the problem is, here's our equation. They tell us that you have 15 liters of H2, and we want to know how many grams of NH3 we can make. That's the known. That's the unknown. Sorry about that. Okay, so Kl is 15 liters of known. Coefficient in front of the known is 3. Molar mass of the unknown, so NH3 is 17 grams per mole. And then the coefficient in front of the unknown is 2. And ultimately we want to find the grams of the unknown. That's what we're trying to solve for. So our formula is UG equals KL CUMU over 22.4 LCK. So KL, 15. CU, 2. MU, 17, and then you just write 22.4 liters, and then CK, coefficient of the known is 3. So, the liters cancel, and 15 times 2 times 17 divided by the product of 22.4 times 3 gives you 7.59 grams of NH3. So, what all that means is that if you react 15 liters of hydrogen gas, you will produce 7.59 grams of NH3. All right. Let's solve another one. This is a volume to mass uh, conversion, liters to grams. Let's do another one. For a mass to volume conversion, on the other hand, we use a different formula. Uh, UL equals KGCU 22.4 liters over MKCK. So UL is the unknown in liters. Kg is the known in grams, Cu is the coefficient in front of the unknown, Mk is the molar mass of the known, and then Ck is the coefficient of the known. So let's try this problem. 
uh, one volume of oxygen gas at standard temperature and pressure is required to completely react with 52 grams of iron to form iron 3 oxide. So let's identify the known and the unknown. What volume of oxygen? They're asking for liters of oxygen. So that's our unknown. Here's oxygen, question mark, liters. That's the unknown. Uh, is required to react completely with 52 grams of iron. So Fe is iron. They're telling you you have 52 grams of this. 52 grams. This is the known. All right, so we have our known and our unknown. So we're going to rewrite this on the next page. All right, so they tell you you have 52 grams of iron, and we don't know how many, what volume of oxygen will react with 52 grams of iron to produce that product. So, uh, grams of known is 52, and then the molar mass, <coughs> excuse me, the molar mass of the known iron, if you look on the periodic chart, it's 55.8 grams, and then the coefficient in front of the known is 4. All right, and then the coefficient in front of the unknown, here's the unknown, it's 3. And we want to find the liters of unknown, the volume of unknown. So that's what we're going to solve for. Well, the formula is UL KGCU 22.4L over MKCK. KG is 52. CU is 3. 22.4, you just write. MK, 58, or well, 55.8. And then CK, 4. So in this case, the grams cancel. 52 times 3 times 22.4 liters divided by 55.8 times 4. It's 15.4, 15.7 liters of uh, oxygen. So what this means is that if you want to completely react 52 grams of iron to produce a product, you're going to need 15.7 liters of oxygen to react with it. If you want to completely react all the iron, you're going to need 15.7 liters of oxygen to accompany it. All right, let's try another one. So this was a um, mass to volume conversion, and the previous one was a volume to mass. Well, now we're going to do a volume to volume conversion. So if you need to convert volumes of known to volumes of unknown, we use the formula UL equals KLCUCK. This is an easier formula. UL is the liters of unknown. KL is the known in liters. CU is the coefficient of the unknown. And CK is the coefficient of the known. So let's try a problem. So in the above reaction, what volume of CO2 gas can be produced from 8 liters of oxygen at standard temperature and pressure? So what volume of CO2? So here's CO2. They're asking for the volume or the liters of CO2. So this is the unknown. Can be produced from 8 liters of oxygen. So here's oxygen. They're telling you you have 8 liters of this stuff. So this is the known. So we're going to go from liters of known to liters of unknown. It's a volume to volume conversion. Okay. So KL, liters of known, 8. Coefficient in front of the known, 5. Uh, the coefficient in front of the unknown, well here's our unknown, that's 3. And then we want to find the liters of unknown. So if you're going from volume to volume, we use this formula, UL equals KLCU over CK. KL, 8. CU, 3. CK, 5. All right. 8 times 3 divided by 5 gives you 4.8 liters of CO2. So if you completely react 8 liters of oxygen with an unlimited supply of propane, you're going to end up with 4.8 liters of CO2. All right. So those are three formulas you can use to do these uh, gas stoichiometry problems. You should only use these formulas if you have difficult time using the factor uh, label method. For a PDF transcript of this lecture, go to www.richardlouis.com. This has been Chemistry Lecture Number 74, Gas Stoichiometry Shortcuts.